Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a short video here real quick on the 67 GTL. Now that you've all seen the introduction video of this car, I made a few comments. I think several times I mentioned in that introduction that it seemed like we had a really solid car, minimal rust, it was going to be an easy fix. Well, that statement couldn't have been any farther from reality. Once we got underneath, started looking at everything, and started going through the car, it snowballed into finding more rust, a lot of bad repairs, just old stuff. Uh, we have, this is Bondo, guys. This is an inch thick. I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up. That is an inch thick. You're not supposed to do that. That was all over the place on this car. We had roofing flashing from your house for the back window area. There was newspaper in there and a lot of rodent infestation. Uh, the side of the cow here, this is the right side of the car. The, the side of this cow was probably, oh, I don't know, six plus inches deep, maybe even eight, in, eight inches deep in seat stuffing that the mice had put in there and was completely saturated with mouse piss. And for those of you that don't know, that mouse piss is like battery acid. And it just ate things up. So what we thought was a nice car ended up not being so nice. And we never ended up, never wanted to put it on the rotisserie. And yet here it sits on the rotisserie, ready to get some more work done to it want to do this video kind of show you guys as you start to follow along as I upload the videos you'll see the progress as we go and you'll see how bad this car got this is a little out of the norm you don't normally find this much as you go through but it's not uncommon I guess my best advice to anyone who's looking for a classic car wants a project to restore really really look at the car really well see if there's evidence of mice anywhere bad repairs bondo a lot of guys use body filler just to fix stuff that's kind of what happened with the old gto here a lot of body filler to fix things all around the window front and back they just tried to fix this as quick as they could and unfortunately the the customer who i'm doing the car for that family purchased this car from the guy who did some of this shoddy work but a lot of the other stuff, you know, storage. I talk about storage a lot to customers. You gotta watch how you store your car. Rodent infestation is terrible. It not only destroys the wiring and the seats and things like that, but it causes a lot of rust. So, like I said, follow along. As I upload the videos, you'll see the progress of this car. You'll see how bad this has become. And we got to a point to where We've got to fix this in order to install this. So the rust just kept coming. The car has been fighting us the whole time. And it's kind of where we're at today. You know, we weren't planning on doing as much with the floor as we're going to be doing. And we're doing rockers. We're doing, you'll see, you'll see. I don't want to spoil it for everybody. So follow along, see the progress of this car, but Everything I said in the first video about this car, unfortunately, wasn't the case once we dug into it. So follow along. As always, like, subscribe, questions, comments, whatever you have. Stay tuned. Follow the episodes. I'll upload them as they go. Um, just a quick note. We'll let you know how long this car has been in here. I think that first video of the introduction of this car was May of 21 and here we are January of 24 and here here it sits so I've got a lot of other customers I've got a lot a lot of work going on and everybody gets treated fairly so even though we found all this extra work I couldn't let it hold up all my other projects so everybody gets a little bit of time with me I roll around I rotate around through all the projects and that's one of the reasons this car is still here so the videos you're going to see are from the past up to the present. So follow along. Watch what happens. We'll see you.